Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm your boy Neff from Neff's Tech Bits. Today I want to do a speed test on some of these drives. Now, I've been switching to Western Digital Drives because the Kingston drives have been going bad on me. I've been getting Kingston drives for a long time, but uh, I think I've started to finally have a failure rate of about 3%, which in itself isn't a deal breaker. It's not the be all and end all. I just hate it when I get a drive that uh, the Kingston tool tells me is still usable, but if I try to use it, it just immediately fails on me. I've made a video on a few of these. It's uh, really unfortunate. That's how it goes though. So Western Digital Blue, Western Digital Green, and um, I even got some USBs. I just want to see the general speed that these things will actually get on a good day now I have an Intel SSD inside of one of my systems I don't want to be tearing that system apart just for a photo op so I'm just gonna say that this is an Intel SSD so as far as the Kingston drives go this is the oldest a little bit older uh, or sorry this is the oldest a little newer and then super new I want to speed test them see which one's the fastest I'm gonna start with the oldest and then move on over to what else I got so ladies and gentlemen first off let's start with the uh, Kingston now it's the SV300 S3A7 let's see what the tests will say okay so here's the results for that one the oldest of all the Kingston drives that I have and uh, we're not doing too bad at 281 megabytes a second we could definitely do a lot better than that though next up we have the slightly older Kingston SUV 500 let's see how it does so here in the middle we can see the test for this uh, second oldest Kingston hard drive it looks like the read time is about the same but the write time definitely has some noticeable improvements okay so the unit on the right is uh, the old hard drive the unit on the left is one I'm checking out now now I'm moving on to the latest of all the Kingston hard drives and we'll see how it does compared to these two here comes the next one up next one the newest one is a Kingston SK600 and see how she does okay so this seems like the exact same drive like I put in before this newest one this newest Kingston drive this is what the newest Kingston drive is and this is what the second last one was or the last one was I'm really not seeing that much of a dramatic difference honestly I'm not liking this one though not liking those two all right next up let's move on to an Intel SSD and see how the Intel SSD looks okay so that's definitely a much better result than I was expecting especially with the read times this is an Intel I, I want to say it's an Intel extreme an Intel something like that but again I don't want to be pulling it out of my computer to show you exactly what it is but still I'm happy with those readings I wonder if that is going to be uh, some of the best readings I got uh, there's only one way to find out let's switch over to the Western Digital blue and green drives now okay so that brings us down to our last units the Western Digital blue Western Digital green uh, before we go any further let's get the look at what kind of units these are the blue WD S250 G2 BAO and WD S120 G2 GAO interesting enough we get these little pieces here I guess they're supposed to keep you from damaging the pins I suppose so we'll start out with the 250 and then we'll move on to the the green 120 gig okay I wasn't expecting that but the results seem to be basically the exact same as the Kingston I'm just checking out the Kingston and yeah yeah maybe a little better than the Kingston but man I hope these things have better reliability than the Kingston though but the speed seems to be the same so you can't complain about that too much anyways let's move on to the green Western Digital Green alright and as we can see here the Western Digital Green comes up as being just a little bit slower than the blue I guess that's what we expected though um, and we can't really know what we can expect as far as reliability until we use them into the ground. Western Digital is known for its reliability, so I guess we'll have to just wait and see. 
All right, folks, we are down to the USBs. I got two USB 3.0, I got one shop USB 2.0, and then I got an NVM2 M2 card. I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna test it like this, and I wanna see the results. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. So once again, this is an M.2 card in a USB 3.0 external board. And you get just what I was thinking, 42.78 megabytes per second read, 43.93, right? And let's compare that to some standard USB thumb drives. All right, I gotta call this one. It's taking way too long to finish the speed test on the bottom right, so 42 megabytes, not bad, not bad. Let's try USB 2.0. I had another USB 3.0 but it doesn't seem to be working for me at this particular moment. I'll troubleshoot that, but it doesn't matter. USB 2.0, let's see what the results are. Okay, so I'm calling it. That's the speed of USB 2.0. Not uh, as great as it could be, that's definitely for sure. But uh, the hard drive's test is done. I would say the Western Digital Blue and the newest Kingston seem to be the fastest let's hope they're also the most reliable because like i said i have a lot of problems with the uh, kingston drives but then again that's about all that i've been using so three percent failure rate it is what it is but anyways ladies and gentlemen that's it for me not from nest tech but it's like and subscribe if you like this stuff always appreciate it and as always folks take care of each other